From madmen that murdered untold numbers of people in war, to terrifying people that like to torture people and broadcast it live on TV, we take a look at six of the most evil people to ever live on Earth. Number 6. Osama Bin Laden Osama Bin Laden was an Islamic terrorist leader that led the terrorist organization called the Al-Qaeda. He is responsible for the 9-11 attack, which harmed more than 6,000 and murdered around 3,000. He is likewise in charge of bombing assaults on the United States embassies in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, and Nairobi, Kenya. 212 individuals were slaughtered and 4,000 were harmed. He supported the Luxor massacre on the 17th of November, which murdered just about 70 individuals. Osama has caused other Al-Qaeda bombings throughout the world, including the 2004 Madrid train bombings, which executed 191 individuals and harmed 2,050. In October 2002 in Bali, three bombs exploded, murdering 202 and harming 209. The 2004 Super Ferry bombing murdered 119 individuals. Osama urged other terrorist groups to attack the United States. Osama was killed on May 2, 2011. Number 5. Adolf Hitler Hitler was Chancellor of Germany from 1933 to his demise in 1945, turning into Germany's Fuhrer. Before he gained power, he wanted to be an artist, however failed. At that point, he concluded that he wanted to be a member of the German army. He became a soldier in World War I. At the point when the German army surrendered, Hitler got away and came back to Germany. He accepted that Germany lost in light of the fact that they had surrendered, and it made him bitter. He then turned his attention to the Jews. He believed that the Jews were the cause of Germany's problems, and he also believed that the Jews did not count as human beings. His plans were to eliminate every Jew in Europe and to gain world control. He used wounded people that were in hospitals for test experiments for ways of killing, like carbon dioxide gas. These experiments killed over 300,000 people. Every Jew in Germany was sent to concentration camps. Jews in other countries were also sent to concentration camps. In 1945, Hitler committed suicide by gunshot and cyanide poisoning. Number 4. Joseph Stalin Stalin was a tyrant of the Soviet Union from 1922 to 1953. When he was young, he was a bank thief, an agitator, and a professional killer. After a lengthy, difficult experience to get power, he turned into a jumpy, heartless, unforgiving, brutal, and vengeful dictator. He made a 30-year rule of brutality, fear, decimation, and killing. Any individual who spied on him disappointed him, or voted against him was bound to die. His first plan was to create the Soviet Union into an industrial superpower country. To do that would cause the deaths of countless numbers of people. Huge industrial schemes became a living hell for hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions. He marked the death warrants for tens of thousands of people. Stalin only loved individuals who forfold his requests. However, in the event that you were a famous figure or an intelligent and independent person, Stalin would arrange for you to be tortured, detained for a long time, or just outright shoot you. He would slaughter relatives of individuals who adored him, and relatives of individuals who horned him as a divine being. Stalin once kissed a small girl out in the public. She had become famous and thought Stalin cared for her and her family, but he later killed her parents. Stalin killed 20 to 60 million people, he died in 1953 from a stroke. Number 3. Idi Amin Amin was a dictator of Uganda from 1971 to 1979. Amin enchanted and guaranteed the world that he would convey peace and democracy to the populace of his nation. Instead, he transformed Uganda into a poverty-stricken area patrolled by death squads. Amin was conceivably the most merciless and hard-hearted dictator ever. His rule was characterized by human rights abuses, ethnic persecution, political repression, massacres, and the expulsion of 80,000 Asians from Uganda. Amin pitted his people and executed hundreds of thousands of his people. Amin was most likely the most vicious dictator in the 20th century. He would show executions of people on television. Amin tortured and killed his country's officers, government officials, 
teachers, artists, doctors, journalists, engineers, politicians, police officers, photographers, lawyers, business people, ordinary citizens, ministers, and children. Amin's men tormented and executed individuals with sledgehammers, while Amin kept the photos for fun and delight. Amin slaughtered and tormented 300,000 to 500,000 Ugandans and was forced into exile in Saudi Arabia for whatever was left of his life. Amin died almost 25 years later in 2003. In that time, Amin lived a very peaceful life. Number 2. Ivan the Terrible Ivan was cruel, brutal, and merciless even as a child. When he was younger, he had propensities for taking animals like dogs, cats, bears, and other animals to the highest point of tall structures and tossing them to the ground. Ivan slaughtered individuals when he was a teen. At the point when Ivan got to be Tsar of Russia, he got to be paranoid and began to see adversaries all over. Ivan forced thousands to move from their territories and made them homeless. Ivan became fixated on slaughtering and tormenting anybody he saw as adversaries, yet most were innocent individuals. He destroyed many villages, towns, and cities. In the Novgorod Massacre, 60,000 were tortured to death. He even killed his favorite son in a rage. Ivan died while he was playing chess with one of his friends in 1584. Most likely, he was poisoned. Number 1. Vlad Dracula He is best known for inspiring the Dracula legend, the cruel methods he used to torture and kill people, and how much he enjoyed killing people. His last name Dracula means Little Devil. The most common method he used to kill people was impalement. Vlad had a horse attached to each of the victim's legs, and a sharpened stake was gradually forced into the body. The end of the stake was usually oiled, and care was taken that the stake was not sharp. Normally, the stake was inserted into the body through the buttocks and was often forced through the body until it emerged from the mouth. However, there were many times where victims were impaled through other bodily orifices or through the abdomen or chest. He was so fond of doing this that he is now known as Vlad the Impaler. Vlad also loved to impale animals. It was possibly one of the most gruesome and painful ways to die in history. Victims would endure this for hours or days. There were rumors that Vlad loved to drink blood. Vlad killed over 100,000 people. If that is true, he killed 20% of Wallachia's population. Vlad was decapitated in 1476.